the Iranians are running the most cohesive and centralized of regional blocs. Note that I do not say necessarily the most effective or the strongest, but certainly the most uh, cohesive. And if we would think of the Iran the regional bloc, who would we include? Well, Iran itself, of course, uh, the Assad regime in Syria, the Ansar Allah or Houthi movement in uh, Yemen, uh, the Shia militias, Hashta Shabi, or at least the greater part of the Shia militias in uh, Iraq, and of course the uh, Hezbollah movement uh, in Lebanon, which today effectively is dominant in Lebanon, crucial to remember, it and its allies with a majority in cabinets, a majority in parliament, and also dominant over uh, significant elements of Lebanon's security structures. Now, we witness in that group a great deal, I'm sorry, I should add also the Islamic Jihad movement also among the Palestinians to complete the, uh, the list. Now, with that group, what we witness is a great deal of uh, of uh, cohesion in the, in the organizational person, if I can put it that way, the Islamic Revolutionary Guards Corps, and specifically its overseas uh, element pods for Iran possesses a, a body uniquely well suited to the confused and fragmented nature of the strategic situation in the present time because it's an organization specifically geared towards the creation and management of proxy organizations in neighboring states and that they should then serve interest in the Republic of Iran. And if you think of the way in which Iran was a, has been able in recent years to mobilize uh, proxy forces in both Syria and in Iraq, and of course originally with Hezbollah, also in Lebanon from 1992 onwards, 